Right guys, so today I've come to HMP Nottingham and I do apologise about the wind. Um, there's the famous building there, HMP Nottingham. Right, I'm here to talk about the story of a woman that got di <coughs> wrongfully dismissed from being a prison officer because she spoke out against corrupt officers. She got wrongfully dismissed for um, health reasons apparently, that's what they used. Um, and yeah, sorry about the mic, I haven't got a mic today because uh, I did just record a video at um, Central Police Station in Nottingham and uh, Mike just didn't want to work for me so I'm just using my secondary camera today so I hope you enjoy and yeah see what these guys have to say look at that big blue doors no fly zone with drones and stuff And there's about several people sat inside. Just, uh, oh no, they've all disappeared now. There's about ten of them sat in there. Um, but yeah, guys, wrongfully dismissed for, for talking out about corrupt officers, and them same corrupt officers managed to get her dismissed. Uh, so, yeah, guys, and that's what we're in pointing out today at HMP Nottingham there is other videos out about HMP Nottingham I'll leave the links in the description I believe she's on the phone probably to the police it wouldn't surprise me because I don't like people filming. Hello. Yeah, I don't like people filming, so, uh, but as far as I can see, it's public land, public access right there, from public street, public land, um, and I will be free to walk about. Unless they ask me different. But yeah, guys, HMP Nottingham. <coughs> Just here is probably where they put some notices and stuff. And yeah, guys. See the top of the building just there. Probably cells and stuff in there. There, there look. Probably a cell there. I'm not being in HMP Nottingham, so <coughs> would not know the layout. Would not have a Scooby Doo because I know somebody's been in there, and they've said when you get inside, inside this bit, um, to go and see someone, you don't go down any steps or anything like that. But the prison is much lower than what it is out here. So you've got one level out here. And then you get a different level inside. And that's by somebody that I know that's been inside of there. So. Yeah. Yeah, former police prison officer. Um, she was... She claims she was silenced and unfairly dismissed after speaking out about the violence and the drugs at the jail with a tragic and appalling suicide rate. Diane Ward claims many colleagues and managers were turning a blind eye to problems at Nottingham Prison. She was dismissed for inefficiency in uh, for medical inefficiency in 2016. 
since the Chief Inspector of Prisons has ordered the government to improve the jail. So they've had to have been ordered by the government to improve the jail, guys. Miss Ward told an employment, employment tribunal in London in the two years since I've left, it has gone into special measure, so everything I've been reporting has been played out in the media, apparently. But some reports of other things that have been going on have still been portrayed, not just what she's saying. So, hey guys. Yeah. <clears throat> that's the report guys so <clears throat> that's what's getting portrayed in the media if that's all what's got put, getting portrayed in the media then why does she also know about the sick and twisted rate of suicide that's in here is that because they're bullies it's a nice building if you ask me there's a visitor centre down there. Go take a mooch about if you like, guys. But yeah, this is on Perry Road in Nottingham. I believe this visitor centre is down this way. And there's a walkway by the side of the prison. Just up here. And that's the visitor centre down there. So... But yeah guys, there's not much to see here really. I just have to take a whole walk around the whole prison, but it's massive grounds. As you can see it says the main entrance, visitors entrance. I believe if I'm right as well this, this part is part to do with the prison. Like a rehabilitation unit if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice looking prison. But unfortunately they get trapped like dogs in there. They get trapped like absolute animals in this prison. Which is concurred in the suicide rate as well. So you can see it in the suicide rate. I wonder what the suicide rate is to this day, if there's been a recent one. It's still just as bad. It's in the news that uh, Chief Inspector of England and Wales has expressed fears that inmates at HMP are killing themselves because they cannot face conditions, dangerous, disrespectful, drug-ridden jail. And that was after that, that was way after, that was after 2016, so you know, what what have they done to change? Anything? Anyway, that's it guys. Seems to have left me alone today. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'm off again uh, to record the bit that I didn't record earlier because my microphone wasn't working um, and see what happens basically Look guys <clears throat> these are the ones that beat people up Is it still corrupt in there as it was in 2016? Is it still just as bad? Nothing to say? You didn't bully me like you did try and bully Live Free, did you? Exactly, that's what I thought.
Yeah, I'm an idiot, mate. Carry on. I'm an idiot. You can't bully me like you can bully the inmates, though. Can you? Go in your little cockroach hole and just call me an idiot. Like I couldn't hear what he was saying. Little cockroach. Guys, <clears throat> they came out to let a truck but out um, as I was doing something. I was getting a drink. Um, and yeah, basically turned around and said, uh, when he walked in, it, she, was, she was a bit like, oh, you're not going to tell him to go away or something? And he was like, no, he just wants a reaction for YouTube. That's not what I want. I want answers. I want answers. Like, why in the world is a police, is a, is a prison so corrupt? I don't get it. Why is the prison so corrupt? And yet, last time when Live Free was here, they tried to tell him to stop filming outside. I'll put a clip in now. All right. Um, we don't actually allow filming of prison property if we could stop that. Um, All right. So what's the reason for that? It's just put, it's just what we it's government regulation. We don't allow filming. A of government prison. regulation? Is it a law? Prison. Hello. You're right. You need to stop filming. Okay. And because you're not allowed to film on crown property. Okay. Uh, I will say that from this entrance here, it's got public access. No. So anywhere that's got public access is deemed as a... You're wrong, young man, and you can't oh. film on here. And okay. if I were to ring the police, they'd remove you. Okay. So do you want me to ring the police or...? I don't want you to ring police, it's a bit extreme, that, isn't it? Wasting a bit of police time, because I've, I've got no malice. No, um, no, I've yeah. travelled quite a long way to do this, so I am going to carry on. Granted. Um, well, I'm going to ring the police then, because that's what I've got to do. Okay, so would you be able to, like, guide me on, on what I can and on what I can't do? You cannot film a prison. I cannot film a prison? No. Nope. You cannot film the access an exit from the prison. And where does it say that? It, it, you can't do it. But where does it say that? Does it matter if it says it? it stop filming me. It, well, I don't have to stop filming you and you don't have to be so aggressive, but it, yeah, it does matter but where it says it because if it's not written as law... I'll go, I'll go and ring the police right And that's what he got. So I told him, you ain't bullying me like you tried to bully Live Free and he didn't even get where very far with Live Free. He ain't even spoke to me. Just went inside his little cockroach hole and called me an idiot. And that's what you get, guys. People acting ridiculously stupid. <sighs> Anyways, I'm off to record the bit I was meant to record earlier and it failed because my mic wasn't working. Um, and yeah, on to the next one. Ryan on a rampage. Peace.